Hey, hey y'all. Welcome back to another episode of Show Me Sherry. I got a lot of boxes over here, y'all. Four. Four to be exact. This is a mishmash of boxes. So not any particular category. We've got jewelry, we've got a book, and we got some home decor and floral. All right, let's talk for a minute. Um, whew, I've been busy today busy today, but I didn't start filming until 4.30. It is now going on 6 o'clock, and I have a Zoom at 6.45 with my sponsoring coach, a coach's training Zoom with my sponsoring coach. So, hopefully we can get through these four boxes within this next hour. I do believe we can. Now, I did want to update y'all a little bit. So, wow, we have a lot coming up. I'm really excited. We have some plans for y'all. So, or at least we're starting to make some plans. Um, all right. So, uh, I have a couple of large shopping hauls coming your way soon. Um, I'm not sure when exactly. I have one with most of the items here, but not all of them yet. So, that'll probably be a couple weeks down the, down the road. It's going to be a big one. That one's going to be loft. And I found some super cute pieces, y'all. And then a new store. A new store I've never ordered from before. I'm really excited. So I'm going to bring that shopping haul to y'all. That I just bought today. So that'll probably be a couple weeks. Um, what else we got? I have some amazing, I hope. So I have some new footwear that I can't wait to talk to you about. It is so unique. Um, I haven't opened the boxes yet. I'm going to do some research and then I will make that video for y'all. And if this, if this brand does what it claims to do, I think we're going to be in love. But we'll reserve judgment until we do that video. And then y'all, well, Dwayne and I, we have um, a couple boxes to film for you tomorrow. Um, our silver swag is here for October. Our October silver swag is here. And you know Scooby and his snacks. So we we love that box. That one is one of my favorites because there's always a fun activity. Plus, you know I like those convo cards. That's pretty cool. And then we have a new one to the channel. So we're going to do those tomorrow. But this weekend... Okay, so this is Wednesday. And I film a week in advance, sometimes a week and a half in advance, depends on the schedule. So a week in advance. So you'll see these videos rolling out next week. So when you're watching this, it's going to be a week later, at least, you know, from when I filmed it. So um, this weekend, you guys can look forward to it. Um, we are going on a field trip and we're taking y'all with us. So I'm really excited about that. We've never really done that. Um, and we're trying to, you know, I'm sure it'll be, we're going to give it our best shot, y'all. You know, we're amateurs. We're going to give it our very best shot. And um, it's something that I've been wanting to do for a while is to go on a field trip for y'all. And I really like to kind of make that a new, um, like an episode, a recurring episode. Um I don't know, once a, once a month maybe, or every six weeks, but I'd really like to do something and kind of highlight some things. So I have a lot of ideas up here. Um, it's just the challenge is, you know, having it come to fruition. Fruition, okay. So um, yeah, we're gonna go on a field trip and we're gonna take y'all and I hope you enjoy it. I'll probably at least, I'll probably do, two videos, maybe three. I don't know yet how I'm going to do it because we're, we've never done it before. So we'll try it. Um, we're excited. It gives us a chance to kind of get away, even though we'll be working and showing y'all, but, um, yeah, I'm excited. I want to show y'all things, you know, I like sharing my life. I like sharing, um, kind of our relationship a little bit and, you know, my family a little, and just, you know, we're friends. So, you know, friends share. I like to tell y'all about good products. 
And yeah, you guys need to let me know. So I'm also thinking about pulling back some of these boxes. I have so many. And when I started the channel, I wanted to start with a lot of different vo a lot of different boxes so that I could see what y'all like to watch the most. And from the analytics that I've been reading, it's clothes, which that's fine with me. I don't have a problem with that. Um, but I want to offer other things besides just clothes. So y'all, if you would take a minute, maybe I need to talk about this on a closed video because I don't know if y'all watch all my other videos. <laughs> so um, if you're watching, take a moment and comment down below what type of videos that you don't want to see me. What type of videos do you want to see? You know, do you want more home decor? Obviously clothes are not going anywhere. Do you want favorite videos? Do you like the product? You know, do you like me recommending products? Um, do you like book boxes? Do you like the home decor? Do you like all the home decor? Or just one or two favorite boxes? And if so, what are your favorites? Do you like the travel boxes from the cities, states, countries? Um, what else? Jewelry, rocks box, I have one over there. Um, what else? Silver Swag, I find Silver Swag just really fun. I mean, we really enjoy opening that box and doing some of the activities and, you know, it's just a, a lot of fun. Scooby's hammering in the background, sorry. Um, and Brio Box, I don't think Dwayne wants to go anywhere. He is like a kid on Christmas morning when that box comes. Last time we got that box, the fall box, when it showed up on the porch, we had to do a video like at nine o'clock at night. He wanted to see what, what was in that box. So he gets pretty excited. But, uh, you know, if you, you know, let me know. I need your feedback. Tell me what boxes you want me to keep. Tell me other ideas that you might want me to do. Um, I would like to start doing what I kept every month. Now, I can't go back right now because it's so much but I'm going to try to keep track of um, October. So I will do a video towards the end of the month, beginning of next month, with what I kept out of my clothing boxes or and rocks box um, for the month of October. So I will do that on a monthly basis. Um, I can't do outfit of the day. I just can't do that because um, my schedule with Brad won't allow that. So, but you know, give me some feedback. Um, you know, I thought about like a date night, kind of videoing a date night. That would give us an excuse to have a date night. <laughs> Let me know what you think about the field trip idea. Um, I think that might be kind of fun. See us, you know, in real life. I mean, we are in real life. We're real people. But, you know, just like, we're not scripted. We don't have a script. We just talk. So... I don't know how to s explain it. Just like, I don't know, just things, places we go, things we do. I don't know. Anyway, let me know. So I have some ideas coming up and I'm really excited to bring those to y'all. Um, I think Dwayne is too a little bit. We're just a little bit like, not ner maybe a little nervous. Like, how are we going to pull this off exactly? Like, you know, we're not professional anything, <laughs> not camera people, you know, I don't know, we'll see. Okay, so, uh, yeah, I better get into these four boxes. Just give me your um, opinions down below, please. And if you are new here, drop down below, give me your opinion, but let me know where you're watching from so I can welcome you personally to the Show Me Tribe. And y'all, thank you for coming back time and time again. You will never know how much you mean to me. Um, seriously, you guys are awesome. Awesome, awesome. I love talking with y'all. You guys make my day every day. You really do. So thank you. All right, let's dive in. We're going to start with Book of the Month. It's on top. It's small. I only got one book this month. I didn't add any on because let's be real here. I haven't had a whole lot of time to read and my to be read tote is getting full and it's a big tote. So curated box um, gives you a choice of the best new reads every month. And y'all, it is the best. Like it, they, they literally, they literally pick 
you know, the most anticipated books to put in your monthly box selection. Um, they always have an emphasis on early releases, fresh perspectives, debut authors, and there's several genres to choose from. Um, every month there's a thriller or a fantasy, um, literary fiction. Uh, let's see what else do they have? Historical fiction, just a wide variety. Um, but I generally always stick with my thrillers because that's what I enjoy the most. However, a lot of different historical fiction, um, novels, literary, little, literary fiction um, appeals to me. Some romance, it just, whatever. All right, so you can skip whenever you want to and your credits will roll over to the next month. Um, I haven't found a month that there wasn't something I wanted to read, so I haven't done that, but um, you can. Uh, it's $14.99 a month and that's for a hardcover book. And y'all, hardcover books are expensive. So, um, $14.99 is a, is a, is a deal. Now, if you haven't done it before, I have a link I'll put down below and you can get your first hardcover book for $5. And when you subscribe to Book of the Month, you also have an option to add up to two more novels and it can be from that month's selection or something else, um, for $9.99, for $9.99 each, which is a steal. All right, and it's U.S. shipping only. So let's dive in. I know it's Thriller. I know I got a Thriller. I just can't remember which one it was. Oh yes, Catherine Stedman. I have read her before and she was, yeah, she has, she's a very good author. Um, this one, ooh, it's so cool. The Family Game. All right, I'm excited. Catherine Stedman is a very good author. Welcome to the... Welcome to the friend zone in a good way, my bookmark. That's cute. All right, let's read. A rich, okay, the retail value on this is $28.99. So it's like half price. A rich, eccentric family, a time-honored tradition, a lethal game of survival. One woman is about to find out if she has what it takes to join her husband's family in this riveting, must-read thriller from the author of Something in the Water, Mr. Nobody, and The Disappearing Act. See, I've read two of her books. I've read Something in the Water and The Disappearing Act, and they were both really good. All right, rules. Number one, listen carefully. Number two, do your research. Number three, trust no one. Number four, run for your life. Harriet Reed, a novelist on the brink of literary stardom, is newly engaged to Edward Holbeck, the heir of a powerful family. And though Edward has long tried to sever ties with them, news of the couple's imminent marital bliss has the Holbecks itching, inching back into their lives. As Harriet is drawn into their lavish world, the family seems perfectly welcoming. So when Edward's father, Robert, hands, er hands Harriet a tape of a book he's been working on, she is eager to listen. But as she presses play, it's clear that this isn't just a novel. It's a confession, a confession to a grisly crime, a murder, and suddenly the game is in motion. Feeling isolated and confused, Harriet must work out if this is part of a plan to test her loyalty or something far darker. What is it that Robert sees in her? Why give her the power to destroy everything? This might be a game, this might be a game to the Holbeck family, but for Harriet, losing might prove deadly. That sounds amazing. That sounds really good. All right, excited about that one. I'm hoping this winter, y'all. I'm hoping this, ooh, that's pretty on the back. I think that's my color. <laughs> All right, book of, the month, book of the month, awesome. Now, this is a brand new one. All right. I don't get Just Deco. That is a home decor subscription box. I can't get them all. I just can't. And I need to really skim down what I do have. But they came out with a new box idea and I thought it was genius because nobody else that I know is doing it. So it's called Just Greenery, okay? Here's the box, Just Greenery by Just Deco. It's the perfect seasonal greenery subscription to update your home every season. So four seasons. So um, for 
four times a year, they offer two choices. The Spruce Up, which is a lush fall bouquet to accompany the season for $69.99. That's what I tried. So that's what's in this box. We'll see. That will be a bouquet of greens and florals. Bouquets range from eight to 12 stems, so it should be pretty full. Or you can get the full bloom, which includes the lush faux bouquet that I have right here, and a wreath to accent your home. And they also have an, a, an option where you can add an additional wreath. So if you wanted them, you know, like two of them, some people have two front doors. I don't really do a wreath on my front door. My front door has an oval leaded beveled glass front, so I don't usually cover that up. The sizes on their wreaths range from 18 inch to 22 inch. So, and that one costs $97.99. I just opted for the bouquet to see like what, I mean, it's new. So I wanted to see what it was like. And you guys know from seeing my, um, you guys know from seeing my fall video that uh, I have lots of bases. So I do a lot of different um, floral and greenery. All right, I'm not going to, I'm just gonna show you. I'm not really gonna make a vase while we're sitting here because um, I don't have that kind of time. Like I said, I have a, a Zoom. Uh, but if I, if I do have time before we head out of town for our field trip, um, I will do that and ins insert a picture. If not, um, I don't know. I just don't know if I'm going to have time right now, but maybe I will before I edit. We'll see. All right. It smells really good. Okay. This is really cool. Well, I can show you what it's going to look like. I can smell the eucalyptus in here, y'all. This is really, this is really neat. And then they give you directions on how to style it and how to care for it. Okay, so let's go through here. All right, so here are the stems. They're all wrapped up. I feel like Miss America. <laughs> all right, they're all wrapped. Okay. Yeah, I can smell eucalyptus. Tied with this muslin fabric. All right, I'm going to untie this and see what we have. Hey, these roses, they're faux, but they have, they're like soft touch. That feels like a really good quality. All right. So obviously this is going to make a mess because I see it falling everywhere, but they gave us three different faux flowers and they are, like I said, very, very good quality. Very pretty. I love the color scheme here. Okay, and then they gave us a whole bunch of dried. See that? There's some billy bobs in there. There's some pompous grass, eucalyptus. Um, lots of different pompous grass in different colors. Some miniature roses. I'm gonna have to make this outside on the on the back deck. Here's some like. Um, what are those called? Bunny tails? That is so cute. All right, so let's go over this book because this basically shows you what it's going to look like. Look at this, y'all. Is that not beautiful? Isn't that pretty? All right, then when you open up, it shows you all the stems right here that came with this bouquet. So eucalyptus, yellow craspi, cra, craspidia, that's what I call billy bobs, natural pompous grass, faux florals, mixed bunny tails, mixed bunny tails, white reed grass, natural reed grass, white pompous grass, and baby's breath. Oh, I didn't even see the baby's breath. I love baby's breath. I love baby's breath, y'all. All right. Then they have preparing your bouquet and they have six steps, a how-to. So someone that's, um, someone that's florally challenged like myself could actually build a beautiful bouquet. And then how to care for your dried bouquet. It tells you how to fluff it up, 
Keep out of direct sunlight and indoors. Of course, do not water. Cut stems as needed. If you're feeling creative, cut different varying heights. Avoid humidity. We're, you're, we're humid here in Missouri, y'all. Keep your dried florals in a cool place. Okay. And then they have a shop, just shop deco, just deco. So they have some different shops where you can buy maybe some more florals. And then the other side, talks about some more stuff I think in their shop. And it does show this floral arrangement with the matching wreath that I did not get right here in the top. Okay, I'm excited to do that. That's gonna be fun. I'll feel so creative when I, I'll feel like I'm an experienced floral designer, which I'm not, but I'm curious. I can't wait to see how that turns out. Okay, what's next? Let's go in rocks box. Let's do rocks box. All right, rocks box, $21 a month. You can get as many boxes for $21 a month that you can fit in a month's time. They send you three pieces that you wish list on their website. They get, call themselves a rental service, um, but I tend to use it as a purchasing. Um, so I'll get three pieces, I'll check them out, try them on, see if I like them. And if I really, really like them, then I will purchase something and that $21 that I paid that month will be applied to that purchase. Um, if you love all three pieces in your box, sometimes that'll happen, you know. So if you get three pieces in your box that you love, love, but your budget is a little tight that month, let me tell you, I understand that. Um, and so you can keep it as long as you want. You don't have to keep getting new boxes, but if you want to keep it, you can use that $21 that first month towards one piece. Then the next month, when they take the $21 out, you can use it for the second piece. See what I mean? So you can keep it for three months and never, never turn it in and you're not in any trouble. And then you can just um, use your $21 every month to go towards your piece. Okay, they do have a lot of different credits. When you um, when you spend some money with them, your level will raise. Right now I'm at the silver level, so I think that's a 10%. I think that's a 10% off the total for me. We'll see. All right, so it comes in this little box. Super cute. And y'all, these people are so fast. As soon as I'm done with this box, whatever I don't keep, and I put in this same mailer that they sent me, um, so as soon as they scan it at the post office, they're already sending me a new box, even before they get it. Awesome. All right. And then inside, you're going to have your invoice with the um, return label to put on the same package. And easy. Easy to send back. All right. So they still have the stock up and save. $10 off two pieces, $20 off three pieces. That's on top of the already the savings. So that's a good, a good buy. All right, and then the little orange bundle, super cute. Of course, you don't really see anything except the uh, the bags, but they're cute. All right, so have my invoice right here. Ooh, this one is a pricey box. Okay. Oh, they're all Kendra Scott. That's why. Okay, so member price is different is different than the retail price on most all their jewelry um you get a a, a discount for, by being you get a discount for being a rocks box member so you know but with kendra scott you don't so it's this the full price however you can still use your rewards discounts if you're rose gold or silver level or maybe gold level so you can still use that you can still use your monthly credit of $21 and you still get the buy all three discount. But then they have this stock up and save discount on top of it. And that's not on here. So yeah. So then if I wanted all three pieces, I would get another $20 off. So it's pretty, it's really an awesome, a fun box to get. 
All right, so three Kinder Scott pieces. I do love Kinder Scott, y'all. These are Kinder Scott. Okay, so first item is, ooh, these are pretty. A pair of earrings. Kendra Scott Peyton Drop Earrings in Golden Bronze Veined Purple Turquoise. And these are $98. These are stunning for the fall. Look, aren't those beautiful? I love those colors. All right, I got to try one on. I really like to wear a lot of berries and purples in the fall. Oh my gosh, those are pretty. What do you guys think? I'll hold still so I can get a close up for y'all. Ooh, those are really pretty. Okay, y'all, I'm tempted. You know, I barely touch my ear and look how red it gets. My ears are they have a mind of their own. My ears get red if I'm mad, if I'm sick, if I'm hot, or if I touch them, basically. All right, those are really pretty, y'all. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right, next. We may have to keep those. Kendra Scott, what is this? Ooh, that's so cool. Adeline Strand necklace in rhodium. I was a I was a sales manager of a jewelry store for several years in my um, in my city that I live in. If you don't know what rhodium is, rhodium is a white metal that they plate over the top of um, white gold and sterling silver. A lot of times, it is hypoallergenic and it is bright white. So if you get a uh, a wedding set in white gold and it's bright white, I guarantee you it is coated with rhodium. Um, it is beautiful, beautiful. I love my white gold to turn to um, be rhodium plated. And you can get them redipped every so many years if your set is starting to look um, a little faded in the color, you know, because white gold, gold is yellow. There's only one metal, precious metal, that is yellow and that's gold, okay? So to make white gold, they put um, they put nickel in it. I think it's nickel, yeah. They put a white metal in and mix it with the gold, okay? So gold doesn't come in white, <laughs> they make it. Same with rose gold, they make that with copper and they mix it with gold. But then the rhodium over the top makes it bright, bright white. So um, yeah, so and rhodium also, doesn't, it doesn't really, it prevents it from tarnishing. So yeah, this is, oh my gosh, you guys, this is beautiful. Look at that. It's like little bitty pave glittery looking. Oh my gosh. This is $80. This is, this is so Sherry. It's got the little bit of Sherry sparkle in there. You probably won't be able to see it with my, oh, y'all, it has an adjustment too. So you could go shorter or, oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. I am in such trouble. The adjustment has the loop. See? For the lobster claw. Let me see if I can get it on. There, got it. All right. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see it very well. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. I'll stay still, so pull this down so maybe you can kind of get a, a look at it on the uh, brown. All right, I'll hold still. Oh my gosh, y'all. I love, love, love this. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it on. Oh. That's 
gorgeous. It's just perfect for like, you know, those split neck tops. I have a lot of them. That would just be a perfect little necklace to go with one of those because this one hangs a little, hangs down like straight. So it's, oh yeah, I can wear this with so many things. All right. Ooh. I don't know y'all, this box, it's tempting. All right, next we have oh, the necklace that matches these earrings. Kendra Scott Peyton Long Pendant in Gold and Bronze Veined Purple Turquoise. And there it is $90. $90. It's nice and long. It has adjustments. So you can go, well, actually with these links, you can go any length that you want to. Because the lobster claw, the lobster claw would fit in these little links. But it has circle links too. See? All right, here's the stone. You can't even see it. It's so long. Let me. Yeah, you still can't see it. It's pretty long. There you go. All right. I'll hold still. Imagine that, though, with a solid sweater. So pretty. So, so pretty. Gorgeous. Let's talk. My set, all three pieces, and I kind of want all three. $268. Silver Rewards discount is $26.80 off. October monthly credit is $21. Buy all three discount would be $10. So that would take... $57.80 off, making it $210.20. But then they have this stock up and save, so that would be another $20. So if that's the case, it would be $190.20. Yeah, I wasn't planning on uh, buying any jewelry. Or not that much. I don't know, y'all. What should I do? Okay, so if I don't buy all three, oh, okay, so if I don't buy all three, which would I not buy? I'm wondering about maybe just the necklace, not buying this one. I love it, but to save some money, I do like the earrings though. But I, I could wear a solid gold. And I have a Kendra Scott necklace that's solid gold, just kind of a different shape, you know? And then, yeah. I don't know, what do you think? I don't know, what should I do, y'all? And I just filmed that Wantable and I have three boxes of clothes to try on. I don't know. Let me know. Let me know what you think I should do down below. I think I'm going to hold on to this one for a while and try to figure it out. I don't have to be in a rush. So, unless I want to use this, that's a limited time deal. All right, let me take this off so I don't lose it with the other one. Oh, that is just a beautiful color. Gold, purple, turquoise. Who knew? All right, let me put it all in this box so I do not lose anything and get my own earring back on. Okay, all right. This was a good rocks box. Habitation box. I thought my subscription was over, but this showed up. So let's see what we got. I'm gonna, I'm going to take a break from this one for a while. This one's kind of pricey. So Habitation is a monthly or quarterly home decor 
uh, subscription box. Um, so you get your choice. Uh, the box focuses on American made products. I do love that. Um, of neutral decor sourced from new small businesses every single month. They feature handmade items and eco and socially conscious producers. So I do like that too. Um, you can follow them on Insta for styling tips and ideas, but also for every subscriber, they offer um, interior design uh, services. So basically like you can send a picture of an area that you're struggling with in your home and they will um, help you try to decide what to do. I haven't taken her up on that, but I really need to because there's a couple of, there's a couple areas in my home that I'm just um, perplexed. Or maybe I'll take it up with y'all and you can tell me. I don't know. So anyway, um, they have a mini, a habitation mini box that's four mystery items that reflect each season. And you can get it monthly or every three months. So I'm not sure how the every three months works because you're only going to get one of the past three months boxes. So I'm not sure which one you would get. And that's $49.99. The habitation box original is four to six high quality items. Um, for $69.99 a month or every three months. And the Habitation Box Elite, that's what I have, six to nine high quality items for $129.99 a month or every three months. Um, I can save you $10 on your very first Habitation Box and I'll, I'll drop my link below if you're interested in signing up. And then, um, yeah, so I guess this is the October box. And I have no idea what's in here. So let's take a look. You guys know I don't really need a whole lot more home, home decor, but I love it. Okay. Ooh, there's a lot of texture in this box. Okay. First up, I have no idea what this is. It has a tassel on it. I mean, it looks like a basket, but it wouldn't sit. Surely they didn't send a hat. <laughs> I really don't know what this is. I don't know. I don't know what you're supposed to do with this. Okay, maybe something will tell me. Okay, here's like a little basket. That's cute, little small basket. You know, that'll sit. I love the colors. The gray and the cream. That's cute. Does this go? Wait a minute. Oh, I just pulled the tassel off. Well, that's not good. Hold on. Is that the topper for this basket? Maybe that's, maybe that's the, that's a lid. Looks like a little mushroom. Huh. Okay. I've never seen anything like that before. And then we got something from Primitives by Kathy. A banner. It's cardboard. Oh, okay. Happy Halloween. There we go. Or just Halloween. Halloween. This would look really cute outside my covered porch, but with it being paper, that wouldn't that wouldn't work. I'm not really sure where to put it in the house, but that is really it's cute. I love the little witch. The A has a little spider. The O has the witch. An E right here has the little crow. That's cute. That's really cute. All right, what else do we have? Something wrapped. Oh, a little gold dish. Kind of reminds me of a candle. Is it a candle? No, it's just a trinket dish. That's cute. Oh, you can use that anywhere to put little treasures in or maybe your I don't know, your jewelry when you take it off on your nightstand or by your kitchen sink and that way it doesn't, I don't know. There's all kinds of stuff you could probably put in here. That's really cute. I like that. All right, now what? 
beautiful. You know I love pumpkins. These will, this is from Colonial House. There's a set of two. This would be great for tiered trays. Little plaid pumpkins. Y'all, that's adorable. That's really cute. Oh my gosh. Little burlap leaves. Love that. Okay. And this is cute. Maybe you're supposed to put this in that dish. Maybe that's, I don't know. They're little tiny, it's like potpourri, but tiny pumpkin shaped potpourri or berries. That is so cute. I gotta see if they smell. I don't smell anything. Oh, Scooby's on his way in. You can hear him squeaking. All right, let's see if these smell. No, they're not scented. Nope, but you could probably put some um, essential oils, your favorite essential oils, and uh, scent them yourself. That's really cute. All right, what else do we have? Oops, I just dropped something. Ooh, we have a throw. This is pretty. A black and camel throw. It feels very uh, sturdy. Cotton, like a, all cotton. Let's see what it's made out of. Nope, 63 poly, 20 cotton, 13 rayon, and four other fibers. Machine wash warm, tumble dry low, or hand wash. Well, I would probably wash it on cold, but that is... That's really cute. And if you decorate for Halloween, this would be a great throw to just lay over a piece of furniture or a, or a rocking chair or something. Yeah, that's nice. That's a nice one. All right, we got one more thing. Oh, this is cute. We have one of those core mats to put, to layer with a under rug on your front porch that says gather, right? Yeah, gather. Nice long one, so you could put a really nice um, big size under rug and then have this. I, I like that, that's cute. Okay, this was a really good box. I really like the, um, I like that doormat. The, yeah, I like the doormat. I like this throw a lot. Um, those little pumpkins were adorable. These are cute. I would scent those with some kind of cinnamon smell. This is really unique and different. I don't Tell me down below. What would you guys put in this? Give me some ideas. What would you put in it? I'm kind of a blank here. I know that it's useful, and I know I could use it. Other than loose jewelry, I'm trying to figure out what I could put in here. I already have something for my cotton balls and Q-tips, so I don't know. If you got any good ideas, let me know. Okay, and then the little pumpkins that I love and the Halloween banner. That's a neat banner. I just wish it wasn't paper because I would love to put this on my porch. All right, and then this guy is very unique. <laughs> it's just... It's cute. I don't know what, I don't know. I just don't know. Um, kind of reminds me of like a, an elf hat or I don't know, a gnome hat. I don't know, it's just neat. It's different. And I don't, you don't have to use the hat, but, or lid, I guess it's a lid, not a hat. Okay, y'all, Scooby's going back outside, squeak. <laughs> So we had some fun boxes, some unique, different things. Um, yeah, I can't wait to play with that bouquet. That might not be for a week or so because like I said, field trip. Um, yeah, and the jewelry, oh, great. These items from Habitation were super cute. And of course the book, I mean, everything. All these four boxes were awesome, awesome. Okay, I'm so excited. 
All right, and I got through, and I'm done 15 minutes before my Zoom. It worked out. All right, so, and I still have try-on to do tonight. I wanted to get this, I wanted to get this one filmed before my Zoom, and then I can work on all those clothes after my Zoom, because <laughs> it's going to get hot. It's going to get really hot. There's lots of sweaters <laughs> involved in the wantables. Three wantables. I've never had three at once. Never. All right. So, yeah, I think that's all I have for you tonight. Um, I'm looking forward to taking you guys out of town this weekend. So until we meet again, Godspeed and many, many blessings. Bye, y'all.